Now, uh, the Toyota Harry has been in production for four generations, starting from the 1998 to present. So this is the 2016 Toyota Harrier. If you know this car, if you've heard about it, you've seen it, you know this is a very compact car. It's compared to uh, <coughs> Mazda CX-5s and uh, we have the Lexus and uh, couple, a couple of other cars which uh, resemble um, the interior, exterior and the size. Now. Uh, so this car is almost exactly the same as the Lexus RX uh, from the third generation on. However, the Harrier is a separate brand that has nothing to do with the Lexus uh, RX. So we'll start by looking at the interior uh, legroom and the uh, space. Now, uh, the 2016 Harrier is plush and comfier than the other Toyotas, basically. Now, uh, the doors and the center armrests have uh, supple leather, very soft, smooth, and just uh, comfy and then uh, it's also quite technology this car is also quite technologically advanced for a toyota uh, which contributes to its uh, smartness uh, touch sensitive surfaces uh, replace typical tactical uh, buttons on the center console which if you have been uh, able to see toyota's before you'll know that now in the video you can look at me i'm just uh, i'm a six foot two tall guy and you can see i'm at the back on the back in the back seat and uh, there's quite enough space legroom space and all that so no no doubt about this car okay so the inform, uh, infotainment system is also fairly straightforward and uh, user friendly in navigation aside so yeah this car is something else now uh the cabin storage uh there are several storage compartments in the cabin that are useful for storing uh, items such as smartphones um beverages googles handbags you name it okay so uh, in the first row there are four cup holders uh, that is in the front side now in the front seats uh, we have four cup holders uh, in the back seat you can see we only had two cup holders now as we move to the front seat uh, just look at how the class interior is this is just not the typical Toyota way you know typical Toyota way is kind of different if you know what I mean so um, so there are storage compartments in the cabin that are used for storing items such as the smartphones you know beverages goggles handbags you know whatever you need to to have like uh, so what i was saying is that like in the first row we have the uh, four cup holders which you'll see in the video and then automatically uh, operated and then uh, door panel storages as you can see in the video at the moment uh, we have a glove box in the center box uh in the second row uh, there are four cup holders and the front seat jacket pocket so there's enough cabin storage uh, if you're to go for a long distance you're thinking of you know having your coffee and other things beverages and things like that you want to store your phone uh no problem when it comes to this car okay so just enjoy the uh interior view of the dash as we wait to look at other aspects of the car this infotainment system we have the screen uh, display now this is what i was talking about um, the automatically uh, uh, operated uh, compartments so you can have uh, two there i mean when you talk about your cup holders and everything other compartments are there which if you need they're there for you remember guys we are at ken car limited this is a long gong road so if you want to check out this car any other car whether it's 1300 cc a thousand four thousand cc six whatever i'll have them you know pass by just next to uh coptic hospital and you'll see what you, what you're talking about so uh previously i hope you've just seen the moon roof so that is something that is also a new okay this is just at the other side of the car we just trying to get you guys to feel the realness of the car this is the other side of the door we're just trying to show you the interior how to have up their game as you can see all the door panels have speakers and in the boot you'll notice there's a jbl uh, uh branded uh, speaker these other ones are not really branded but you can see even under the seat there is some speaker there so in terms of uh, entertainment uh we, we don't doubt what uh, toyota harrier 2016 has now as we are looking at all these things we can talk about the safety features so standard safety features in the toyota harrier include the anti-lock braking system that is the abs 
our child safety locks, side airbags, we have the driver airbag, the passenger airbag, brake assist, vehicle stability control system, we have the parking sensors, it has the crash sensors, uh, traction control and uh, front impact beams. So guys, you know, this, this is some really good stuff. Now in terms of acceleration or speed, uh, 0 to 100 km per hour in 10.5 seconds. Okay, for the 2500 cc and then uh, for the 3500 cc it takes 8.5 seconds so the top speed for the Toyota Harrier R216 is um, 180 km per hour uh, fuel consumption is uh, 16 to 21 km per liter okay now this is the boot which is automatically operated as you have seen so we can talk uh, slightly about the boot Okay, so the the boots i mean the, this car offers a sizable cargo space for holding small to medium luggage uh, the space increases further when the rear seats are folded so you can fold the rear seats and get more uh, space for your uh, cargo probably luggage so also under uh, the boot we have enough space to fit a tire and other luggages that you may need uh, this is the speaker i was talking about a uh, jbl branded and uh, you'll be seeing me opening um, the bottom of the boot where you'll see that it has more space if you have like if you're traveling with lots of people so this this is the space you're talking about you can fit a tire there other things uh if it's your uh mechanical items you can fit them there and any other thing that you probably need to have it in your boot okay so that is it that that's the toyota harrier 2016. i keep watching the boot you see we also have another uh, it's another way of opening of two uh, openings now this is the next one where there is also space but it's just connected to the other one uh, okay so quite quite some good space uh, cargo space if you if you ask me okay now let's look at the exterior now the 2016 harrier boasts a powerful and formidable suv exterior the front facade is particularly distinctive with the sharpest note and the grill with the lower angle uh, the rest of the suv musk of the suv's muscular body is characterized by flowing lines and you must admit that this is quite very attractive a uh, very attractive vehicle so in addition there are auto led lights with the cornering uh, cornering uh, lamps which you can see uh, distinctive vertical daytime running lights uh, sequential uh, turning signals and adaptive high beam uh, system this is not some regular stuff man. this is different so uh, which uh, the, all these are quite good for vehicle in this class okay uh, you can see uh, the side mirrors with the extra lighting is for uh, proper safety now this car has a uh, very good uh, resale values in terms of competitors you have the nissan murano mitsubishi alanda uh, bmw x5 mercedes uh, m-class volkswagen Touareg, uh, like i said mazda cx5 and all that um what we like about this car is the good driving experience good exterior appearance and the good improvement in terms of interior and other features have been added by toyota uh, we don't what we don't like about it is just kind of expensive yeah kind of expensive so guys thank you for sticking till the end of the video we appreciate the love and we appreciate uh the honesty in your comments so kindly do subscribe hit the like button share your thoughts in the comment below let us know what you think about the car and the review otherwise cheers man enjoy the rest of your day